Hello, this video is sponsored by BZG Apps. This is their first app they've sent through to us, Unite. It allows you to turn any website using custom browser framework into a Mac app that feels native. So let's start with BBC iPlayer. That's an um, uh, on-demand TV service from our British broadcasting company in the UK, if you're not aware. So yeah, it even has Pokemon. It has Pokemon on it. What's not to like? So bbc.co.uk forward slash iPlayer, and I want this to be called BBC iPlayer. Now it will load. It should, in a second, when it loads, pull us a custom favicon. There we go. The iPlayer logo has popped up right there. I prefer the old iPlayer logo. I prefer the old okay. iPlayer logo. But anyway, let's create a Unite application and launch it. So this is going to feel native. So this is our BBC iPlayer application that we've made. It automatically makes the top of the page match what's underneath until I got rid of the cookie notice. And you can see that we've we've got our we've got some TV we can watch on BBC iPlayer. Say I don't like this bar at the top. Say I want it to feel really native and have no bar at the top. I can head to appearance and I can say I want to hide the title, I want to hide the icon, and I want to hide the title bar. And and it's got the it's got the curvy Mac edges and everything. Look how native that looks. It looks like a Mac app. There's a lot of other stuff we can do in the settings. Like we can change the window colour if we want to. But that doesn't really seem to do anything. I think that's to change the bar at the top. And we've got rid of the bar at the top because we don't want it. You can change behaviour. We can add shortcuts. There's a lot you can do. You can change where it opens. So say I don't want it to open on the home page. I, I can do that. I can choose where I save the downloads to. So that's super cool. Let's try and create another app. Why not? So let's get rid of my BBC iPlayer app right here and cre click create another app in Unite. Maybe we want, I don't know, an app to watch, an, an app to look at, I don't know, RSG. So the RSG domain is rsguyoutube.wordpress.com. Yeah, watch us. Yeah, that's Wildcast channel. Go watch it. So let's call it RSG. I might need to put the HTTPS in for it to work. And it should start pulling us a favicon now because I am aware that there is one available. Don't worry, if a favicon doesn't pull, you can add your own. But we're, I'm hoping it will pull me a favicon. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Is it going to find the RSG logo? It's found the old RSG logo, but that'll do. So we look like I, that. I like the new one, but. Okay. So we look like that colour around the outside that there's a border there. That can be changed. I can make it pink. Yeah, pink. And now, when this window disappears, there'll be a pink border on it now, anyway. There we go. Let's hit Create Unite Application. That does not look nice with the baby pink. I know, but I couldn't be bothered to find out the actual colour, so now it's pink. Mm. Here we are. This is RSG. That's the old logo. This is the new logo. That's isn't it? the old logo. Oh, is that an old logo as well? Yeah, we need to fix the logos. This is RSG, feeling like a native Mac app. It's running on my Mac. And it, it feels native, especially when I get rid of these bars at the top. Yeah. And it will also be available in my launch pad. So, just like a normal app, if I head to the end of my launch pad, they're all there. Like normal apps. Just there. Wow. But shall we try that other service that they sent through to us? This is Coherence. It doesn't use a custom browser framework. It uses the Chromium framework, the same that... Chrome and Edge are built on. Wow, I use Edge every day and I did not know this. So there's already I'm some. I'm excited about this. There's already some pre built app templates we can use, which is cool. But we're going to make our own. We're going to make our own from scratch. I'm going to create an application. I want an application of. Now I have to think of a website. Uh. Amazon. Let's get YouTube Studio. Studio.youtube. No. Oh, I, I put it down here. YouTube. Maybe they should shop at our merch website instead. Yeah, but I don't know the domain of my merch website. That might sound really bad, but I don't know uh, the name. Link in the description. There is a link in the description somewhere, I think. Yay. Anyway, we can get an app, app, an app icon. It's given us a Google icon. That's close enough. Let's add this app. So now we hit next, because you can make multiple ones at once. It says my app name is invalid, apparently. Uh... Let's go YouTube, studio, https dot slash slash studio dot YouTube dot com. I have some breaking news. If you're watching this far into the video, guess what you should do? You should subscribe. 
I'm I'm having trouble with that. I don't know why my app name is invalid. It's probably some and stupid like, thing. Let's and try and install Chrome. a custom one. So we can use Google Chrome, Brave, Microsoft Edge, or Opera because those are the Chromium supported browsers I've got installed. Let's do it with Google Chrome. Yeah, we'll we'll replace our existing app. That's just asking me to uninstall my apps correctly. Let's launch it. Launch it now. Here now. we are. Now. Now please. We've got our own Yay. version of Messenger here that we've just made. We just made this. You just made an app and it took you like not very two long. Two minutes. So this is this is running in Chrome but as a standalone app. I don't know why the actual app creation bit isn't working for me. It worked when I tried it the other day, so it should work for you guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Goodbye.